The great leader Kim Jong-il, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, Chairman of the National Defense Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army, met on Friday Jumali Sainiasun. General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party, President and Chairman of the Central Committee of Defense and Security of the Lao People's Democratic Republic on a visit to the DPRK. Present there were Kim Jong-un, Vice Chairman of the Central Military Commission of the Workers' Party of Korea, Ri Yong-ho, member of the Presidium of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea and Chief of the General Staff of the Korean People's Army, Kim Yong-il and Park Do-chun, alternate members of the Political Bureau and Secretaries of the Central Committee of the Party, and Su Kyu Chang, alternate member of the Political Bureau and Department Director of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea. Present there on the opposite side were Tong Run Sisurit, member of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party, Chairman of the Committee for External Affairs of the Party and Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Government, Bun Bun Butanawang, Member of the Political Bureau and Secretary and Secretary General of the Central Committee of the Party, Zhuang Sumbunkan, Secretary of the Central Committee of the Party and Chairman of the Propaganda and Education Ideological Committee of the Party, Fong Sawat Pupa, Minister and Secretary General of the Presidency, Chan Samun Chanyerat, member of the Central Committee of the Party and Vice Minister of Defense, and Tsarun Warin Tarasak, ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Lao People's Democratic Republic to the DPRK. Kim Jong-il exchanged form handshake and warmly met with Jumali Sainiasun. Kim Jong-il warmly welcomed the Korea visit of Jumali Sainiasun and extended his warm greetings to all the Lao people fighting to defend the gains of revolution, consolidate and develop the people's democratic system, and strengthen the national power of the country as a whole under the leadership of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party. Jumali Sainiasun expressed the sincerest thanks to Kim Jong-il for having invited him and made his time for a meaningful meeting, though he was so busy leading the building of a prosperous nation. Jumali Sainiasun said during his visit he could witness the proud reality in which the fraternal Korean people, under the guidance of the Workers' Party of Korea headed by Kim Jong-il, are making a great success in the efforts for the prosperity of the country and the improvement of the people's living, guided by the Chuchi idea and Sungun idea and under the banner of self-reliance. He extended his kind greetings to all the Korean people in their dynamic efforts to build a prosperous socialist nation and accomplish the cause of national reunification on the principles of independence, peace and great national unity. Noting that the Korean party, government and the fraternal Korean people not only rendered material and moral assistance to Lao people's struggle for national salvation and the building of a new society in the past, but also are giving precious cooperation today too, Jumali Sainiasun expressed a sincere thanks for it once again on behalf of the Lao party, state and people. The Laos Korea friendship sealed by Kai Sun Fombihan, respected president of the Lao people, and President Kim Il-sung, the great leader of the Korean people, is invariably carried forward and expanded today too, he said, and stressed that it is an unshakable will of the Lao party, state and people to defend and further strengthen and develop the traditional Laos-Korea relations of friendship and cooperation, a wonderful and precious legacy in the future too. Kim Jong-il expressed the will of the Workers' Party of Korea and the government of the DPRK to further strengthen and develop the friendly and cooperative relations in keeping with the noble intention of the preceding leaders of the two countries and the desire of the Korean and Lao peoples. Kim Jong-il, together with Tsummali Sainiasun, visited an exhibition showing the history of the development of armament of the Korean People's Army. Tsummali Sainiasun expressed deep impressions, saying the exhibition is vividly showing the proud achievements 
the Korean people have made in the struggle to increase the military power, the national power of the country, in every way, under the banner of self-reliance, under the Songun-based leadership of President Kim Il-sung and General Secretary Kim Jong-il. Jungmali Sainiasen presented Kim Jong-il and Kim Jong-un, vice chairman of the Central Military Commission of the Workers' Party of Korea, with the gifts he had prepared with sincerity. Kim Jong-il expressed deep thanks for it. Kim Jong-il gave a banquet in honor of Jungmali Sainiasen, general secretary of the Central Committee of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party, President and Chairman of the Central Committee of Defense and Security of the Lao People's Democratic Republic. The banquet proceeded in a friendly and cordial atmosphere. Kim Jong-il warmly hugged Tsummali Sainiasen and bade farewell.